Greetings everyone, I'm coming to you live from Toronto, one of the major technology hubs within Imagine Communications and we're about to celebrate two years anniversary and during those two years we have made a lot of changes, exciting changes that position us to be a leader in the broadcast industry. Come with me as I speak with different teams from marketing, R&D, down to supply chain management and learn what they do and how they help us to be successful transforming the company. So we spend a lot of effort and focus on building platforms that are now more software-based than hardware-centric. Stake the position in leading the world towards virtualization. We stake the position in the migration to IP, and we've done it. You know, we've won. We've won at ABC Disney. We've won at uh, Disney and their cable channels. We've won at uh, TV Globo in the Olympics. We won at GloboSat. We are working closely together with Comcast to develop um, new solutions that we believe will be able to port in, in other markets. In Brazil for the Olympics, our, our uncompressed video over IP will basically be driving the Olympics. All of this is leading with new technology and uh, the teams, the engineering teams have contributed in large part to making that happen. Basically what Xanium is, is it gives us the ability to kind of centralize all of our intellectual property pieces and allow those pieces to be used as building blocks to develop products around the company. We, as the industry is transitioning from predominantly SDI baseband technologies over to IP technologies, this is the control system we're using to help with the transition by first providing a single overriding control system, control hybrid systems, both SDI and IP and to make the transition easier for people as they move towards all IP systems by providing much of the functionality that people are familiar with in the baseband SDI space in the IP space. We're working very, very closely with some key partners, people like Microsoft in the cloud space, in Azure, and we've been working with them. I've been working with them as part of Digital Rapids for years, but part of Imagine Imagine said, hey, let's take that, let's really run with it, let's make that happen. The HP partnership announcement has made and is making a big impact on the supply chain where it not only simplifies our supply chain, but it also adds a more robust server into our solutions offering. So I'm now working with the HP Enterprise people to get their regulatory compliance statements. Also their ISO 9001, 14001 registration for their factories all over the world. HP's technology is second to none. I like the way they, their service and their support is structured. I mean, they're, they're reliable, they're fast, they, they complement our, our services solutions. So I, th I think that's been the biggest impact I've seen on the play outside the supply chain. We're also been very active in driving the standards. Um, so John Mike, myself, and a few others are involved in, in doing the the various video and audio standards over IP. So you've got the, the 2022, which we've had for a while. We've got the TRO3 and TRO4, which were recently published, now being converted to SIMPTI standards. Very exciting seeing the, we're basically now leading the industry, proposing these standards. There's also now the AIMS Alliance, which um, I imagine was basically one of the co founders of that, so it's basically to encourage open standards in the industry. Stepping forward, and what's actually very, very exciting to me is that we're starting to integrate out into a lot of other products, a lot of products that we brought on board this company to really become a, a front runner, to, to, be, to pioneer this move into the IP space, which for me personally, for my team I know, this is a really, really exciting time and a really, a really good place to be. A very exciting time in the sense that there's a lot of interesting technical problems to solve as the, both the customers are learning how they want to use the IP technology and we ourselves are also learning how we can use the IP technology to meet their needs. A very exciting two years and we've, we've accomplished a lot and, and looking forward to next year. So that's why we're light on our feet, is our portfolio is so um, transformed and ready to tackle the transformation from baseband to IP, from hardware to, to software, um, to get into the virtualized world, that we are really strongly positioned uh, to take share and, and win against the competition. We're in this game not to play it, we're in the game to win it, right? This is how we're going to win it. 
So this has been a wild two years. You know, we, uh, we've worked harder than ever before. We've really uh, changed the industry. We've changed how people see us as a company and the next, next years are gonna bring even more change. This company is gonna be the one that helps to shape the future. This company is gonna be the one that helps to deliver content to viewers anywhere, anytime. This is a, this is a really exciting, exciting time for us. We're just poised on the, uh, on the edge of doing something fantastic and I'm looking forward to being a part of this uh, and changing, changing the world for people. No doubt we will continue to embrace more exciting changes and challenges and hopefully our accomplishments will solidify our position as leader in the broadcast industry. Here's to you, Imagine Communications. Happy anniversary. Cheers.